Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for an episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Today, we're doing another one of my homemade recipes, my, my concoctions, you know. Uh, it's pizza casserole, casserole. I can speak today, wow. Uh, anyways, it's delicious, at least I think so. I uh, hope you do too, so let's get to cooking. All right, y'all, get this started out here. I got a pound of lean ground beef, and I also got a pound of sweet Italian sausage, because that's what I like in my pizza. So I'm gonna put this on about a medium high heat, kind of get this busted up here a little bit, just so that it'll, you know, for the browns. So. All right, I'm gonna grab me a lid, get that thrown on there, and uh, we'll get this browned up, and then uh, the rest of the magic will happen. All right, y'all, got this uh, sausage and the uh, burger all browned up, looking pretty good. So next, what I'm gonna do, and this I do this just so it blends all together well. I got a uh, medium, a little bigger than medium onion, and I like mushroom on my pizza, so we're going to put some pe or mushrooms in there, and we're just going to kind of toss them together. Just to get them mixed in there good. Oh, we had a mushroom escape. So. Alright. I got my heat turned down to low. So, we're just gonna, like I said, just gonna heat them onions up and mushrooms up. And, uh, let them just kind of, I'm gonna put the lid back on, let them warm up, and then we'll, uh, get to the next thing all right y'all that's just been on for a couple minutes there got it uh, those onions will be onions and mushrooms will be nice and uh, warmed up there Cause like I said you know pizza you want the you don't want this topping sauteed so next thing I do get me a jar of pizza sauce just mix it all in there. Now give me a mixing utensil here. You don't want it too soupy. Because we don't want our crust to be, uh, you know, soggy. I mean, it'll get kind of soft, but it won't be soggy, soggy. Hey. So, just want that flavor of that sauce in there. that just kind of still on low I'm just gonna let it sit and uh, warm up because I want it warm so and that's warm we'll bring you guys right back all right y'all that's all warmed up got our baking pan here and for our crust we're gonna use hash browns these are some I had left over from breakfast I cooked the whole big box of them because you know if I'm gonna cook a couple of them I'll just cook a bunch of them and I knew I was gonna be making something like this today so all right got 
the hash browns in there. Now, I take a little bit of Italian blend cheese. I just put just a little sprinkle on them. You know, just get some cheese all the way through it. You know what I'm saying? Alright, now we're going to take our uh, topping mixture here. Kind of get it all in there. Get it kind of spread out on there evenly. We don't want no, uh, no places that are uh, a little thin. I guess somebody commented on one of my other videos that, you know such and such side was a little thin so all right now more cheese a lot more cheese we want a good good thick layer of cheese on here because you know you gotta have cheesy pizza right Cheesy pizza. All right. I think we think that's got it. All right. There we go. Hopefully it'll even out a little bit more. And then to top it all off, we got pepperoni. You know. Gotta have a, you know, pepperoni for our pizza. And for this, I like to use the little minis. Just because they, uh, you don't have to cut through them when you dish the stuff out. They just kind of find their way. Put them all around here. And we all, the, every little piece will have some, maybe. You know. All right. I don't know. That looks good to me. I'm the one eating it, so I'm the one that has to look good for. So, all right. I got my oven heating up to 350. We're going to uh, once it gets up to temperature, I'm gonna pop this thing in there in the oven. And we're going to bake it for about 25-30 minutes at 350. And that way everything will get all melty and warm and all the flavors will mingle. And uh, after that, we'll come back and do a little taste test. Alright y'all, we baked this thing up for about 30 minutes. Um, the pepperonis are starting to curl really nicely. It's kind of, you know, a little brown around the edges. So, uh... We're going to let her cool off, and uh, then we'll cut into it, and uh, we'll do our taste test. So, y'all hang out and uh, have a drink, and we'll be right back. All right, y'all. This stuff has time has had time to cool, so let's see if we can get a uh, chunk of this out of here. Possibly. Hopefully. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. She's still a little warm down in there, but it'll be alright. So, alright. I'm going to grab me a fork and uh, we'll do our taste test. Alright, y'all. Time for the taste test. I'm sure it's going to be delicious because I made it, but... Mm. Well, that's still really hot, but it's still really, really good. So, 
All right, there you have it. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, that little bell icon there. Click that, hit the all selection, and uh, you'll get all the notifications, everything we cook here in the kitchen, everything we're wrenching on out in the shop, and uh, even some tractor poles and stuff where we go and pull, pull a tractor. So, love y'all, and uh, as always, bare appetite.